questions here. Um, your list of bills, I think I asked at the last council meeting if that could be made public. And we're going to check into it, Mr. Santarelli. It is a public document, Ms. Brown. You're going to write the no act request. Okay, the, the panel to comply with the Sunshine Act. If you're going to vote on the bills tonight, then it should be made available to the public, just like every other town does and our school board. So the residents can look at the bills and question them, because how do we have that right to question under the Sunshine Act for the matters that are on or before the board? So if we don't know what the bills that you're going to vote on tonight to pay are, then you're not in compliance with the Sunshine Act. So what I'm going to ask is, is can I have a list of the bills tonight prior to you voting on them? And will the public be allowed to comment on them prior to the vote? Because then you'll be in compliance with the Sunshine Act. If you're not, then if you don't provide it, then you're not in compliance. Uh, we're not. Uh, like I said, Ms. Brown, if you submit a right to no act request, you'll be responsible. That's, that's all we can do. So every month... Ms. Brown, you never came up and even asked for the bills. Every month you do the same thing. You grandstand, you politic here, and you have never once came up to this office and asked a mark for those bills. Never. Mrs. Davis. So let's go on, Mrs. Mrs. Brown. Davis, I'm not going to argue tonight. Let's go on, please. Call office is open during hours that I work. I have two jobs. So you're not, you are not being user friendly to the residents, to the public. The time some of us has, have jobs. The time has always and some been of us the can't office, be here. The borough office, the time has always been the same, even when you were here. So come on, let's go, Ms. Brown. You have said the same thing to other people. The time has always been the same. Nothing has changed. Some residents can't get here between 8.30 and 4. But I should not have to fill out a right to know request form to see what the well, bills that, that you're going to vote on. Because that right what, to know was done Mrs. Davis, you please, on, I didn't interrupt you. Please don't counsel. interrupt me. Ms. Brown, I don't want to argue. Can the you move on? Act. Okay, we'll look into it. Can you move you, on, please? Do you know what the Sunshine Act is? Ms. Brown, states? can you move on, please? I'm going to ask you one Sunshine. more time, and then I'm going to adjourn this meeting. <coughs> then my question is this. How much is the bill for Elliot Sizakowski and Greenleaf, which is the solicitor for this month, prior to you voting on it tonight? What is the, what is the amount of that bill this month? You should have a list of bills in front of you. I'm asking you, what is the you amount? Have it, don't you? No, no you I don't have, have it, it, Mrs. Davis. Yes, you do. You Council get it every month. Have it. You get it every month. So, Mrs. Davis, you are what is the amount that bill that you're every going month. You know it. The solicitor. I have a right to know that. You know. You will see it just like the solicitor. So said. you're not going to provide the amount prior to you voting on it. Not to you. No. Not, not to, to me. Not and to anyone. It will be available. It will be available. So, have to do Mr. Sandrelli, Ms. Brown, it's been the same every this? month. You do the do same thing. Do I have a right to know every what month. you are being paid this month prior to you know council people one voting? One more time, I'm going to ask you to move on. And the I'm asking my question to Every the month is the same thing. Don't take this meeting to politic in this meeting. Not here. And you're trying to put As us down every time you I come. I have a right to know I have to where my meeting. tax money is going, Mr. Davis. I have a right to know. You're going to be voting on approximately $75,000 tonight of my tax money, and I need to know where it is going. I have a right as a resident. I need to know how much he is being paid this month. I have a right to know how much everyone is being paid, and so is every resident in this town. So you're not going to provide so you are going to, going to what take we've a been vote. And the same thing you did when you was the mayor. It was always the same. Mr. Santa well, and it. I have a legal ruling We're where the council can anything. take a vote and Mr. not Brown. provide the information to the public prior to the vote. Mrs. Brown, I'm not here to provide you with legal advice. The only thing I can say to you is the borough has a right to no law policy and to accommodate folks who work during the day and can't be here, the borough accepts email uh, right to no requests. Mr. Santarelli, I emailed and asked that, and I have the email from Mr. Presenti stating that you do not accept email requests. What was that, Oh, yeah. Okay. What was that, Because At St. Right he's telling you right no, now, no, no, I did. No, 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 stop. We did, as you know, Ms. Brown, we adopted a new right to know law ordinance 
when the state changed its law, and I believe it was in effective January That's correct. 1st of this year. That's and correct. your request was before that, and the answer was correct. We did not accept the So you're telling me I can email you the request now, not and me. I would be able to have the me. information provided. You can email it in accordance with the right to know law, and you'll be responded to in accordance with the right to know law. Now, what about tonight, council, voting to pay the bills without providing the information to the public as I requested? Is that in compliance um, with the Sunshine Law? Ms. Brown, they, they have a list of paid bills that they will vote on. Okay, so let me ask you, Mr. Sandarelli, you submitted your bill. Yes. So how much did you submit your bill for? I don't submit the bill, Ms. Brown. There are county people in my office that submit the bill. I don't know the number off the top of my head. So you have no idea. Up. Not that I have no idea, Ms. Brown. It's in my file somewhere in my office. Okay, so how about if I direct my question to the finance chairman? Because the finance chairman should have a record of all the bills. Yeah, so Mr. Day, up, Ms. Brown. my time is almost up. Well, yes, on. Okay. yes, it is. Yes, it is. If you have Mr. any more questions, Jay, do you on, have baby. any idea how much the bill that Mr. Santarelli submitted for this month is? Well, I, I just wanted to be clear. I did not submit a bill. My law firm submits a bill. My your law, law firm. firm. How much? Whatever your law firm is. It's usually between three to $8,000 a month, Mr. Sandorelli. I'd like to know what the figure is. I have a right to know that. So, does, so do the residents. It should be on the list. Should be on the list. Can you read it from the list? Ms. Brown, you always ask for these things every meeting. I understand. Hear me out. Try to be as fierce as I can possibly be. We all work during the day. Last week I needed something from media. I have to take off from work. Media doesn't say, well, um, it's the day you work, so um, I have to accommodate you. Now, what you can do, however, if you want to see the bills, you know when council, you know when um, council meeting is. Why don't you just come in earlier than that to look at the bill if you want to, if you work during the day. You're telling me that I can come in here and see the actual bill itself? You can come and request for it. <laughs> come on, Ms. Brown. Is that you won't even provide me with this. Come on, Ms. Brown. 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 Come on, Ms.